Now, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's not really in the morning right now. Uh, and, uh, where? Now, nah, there. Uh, where I'm streaming right now. It's not morning, that's what I'm trying to say. Welcome back, it's Worcester 01. It is great to be finally back online, of course. I mean, I I was streaming yesterday, so I was online yesterday. It doesn't really matter. It's time to finally be back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, at least. Welcome aboard this plane. This is the uh, plane of Sukhoi Super. We've got a donation. Prop Strike donated $2.99. Should have skipped the timeless whiz. No, I want to have the timer because then I can prepare for the stream a little bit more. Welcome back to Switch to Stream 1. All right. Um, so, yeah, how's this going, everybody? How are you all doing? I'm just, I'm just checking the sound levels right now that the... I think the music is actually a little bit too loud, even. Turn it a little bit down. Make it a bit nicer. There we go. That's nicer. All right. So, everybody, I hope you all are doing well. And welcome back to the live stream. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And welcome back on board a special plane. Okay? This is the Aeroflot Airlines Sukhoi Superjet. A plane that I don't necessarily like. Let me just say it that way. Okay? So. Uh, it's finally time to be back in the Alpine Mountains flying around. And we're going to fly this plane to some interesting places like Courchevel later on. Uh, we're going to fly down south pretty much uh, pretty much down south um, throughout the whole um, French Alpine Mountains here. And this airport that we're at here with a 5,000 foot long runway is actually the the longest runway that there's going to be today. We're going to have some interestingly short runways in this stream. Let me just put it this way. All right. Uh, now, this plane does take a bit of a while to start up, so let's just go ahead and do it. This is actually, as you can tell, an A320 cockpit. Yep, it's an A320 cockpit indeed. So, uh, let's just go ahead and start it up real quick. It's not really that right hard anyway. What's up, Anthony? Nope. The spamming doesn't work. It's not going to read your donation if you donate under $2 US dollars, okay? Right? $2 Australian dollars is not US dollars. So, there we go. Mission failed successfully for our stream. Welcome back to us, everyone. <clears throat> So, let's just um, see if we can start at this plane, honestly. Uh, of course, after turning on the uh, batteries, it was time. It is time to start up the APU. And that's going to come on nicely. We do need a bit of the fuel pumps to run for, in order to do that. <laughs> right? I don't know it works. All right, I think we have to press the batteries again. Never mind. I think before we've had some issues starting up this plane actually and yes this is an A320 cockpit and it's Sukhoi Superjet. Does it make sense? Yes. Uh, because of course you know there, this is a freeware model it's not particularly that much of a, a realistic freeware model as you can clearly tell but it uses an A320 cockpit because the A320 from the cockpit side also is very similar to um, the Sukhoi Superjet. It's often also called a kind of a fake west western jet um, so, yeah, that's on that one. What's this plane starting up? How long has, uh, how long has this been? Uh, why? Ah, there we go. It's just taking a while to start tree up. Tree donated this is actually two euros. Realistic. Oh, what's up, Tree, tree Dewin donated two euros. Hi, Swiss. My time, 0.45. So you're, you're one hour ahead. Right now it's, uh, 11.46. A legend plays donated Simple 7 legend. Australian dollars and 99 cents. You still haven't given me your email, why? I checked the YouTube channel it sent there. Uh, yeah, you can check the info tab, and then I, you can get the business email, like, the business email, you know? It's just really my email, <laughs> it's just a business email. But you know what I mean? It's pretentious, okay? Let me just go ahead and, uh, get the... Um, navigation systems to work. Turn this to ATT. Here we go. And uh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Turn that to nav. And we've got instruments working. Very straightforward, this plane. Why is the this display so dark? <laughs> How do we change that? How do we get that going? Uh, I've turned on brightness. Where's the brightness? This is now where, we, where we're starting off again. <laughs> I don't know how to adjust the brightness of this uh, of the screens here. This is actually a perfect stream. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, turn on the APU bleed. That is, should already be turned on. Ah, oh, there we go. It is turned on now. 
APU generator is already turned on too, so it is time to uh, get those engines started. Actually, the APU in a plane is eating quite a bit of fuel, so you don't want to always have it like turned off for hours, right? What's up, Angelina? It's five in the morning, five in the morning or five in the evening? Well, I guess five in the evening because you're in the US, right? Yeah, five in the evening makes more sense. We'll come back to what's there one. I'm guessing East Coast then. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> it is now time to go and start up this plane. As you could really tell, this is just a simple Airbus plane. Just really air, like Airbus cockpit at least. It's really easy and straightforward to start up. There we go. And two compressor is coming up. This is really easy and straightforward here. Uh, again, Sukhoi Superjet. Yes, it does use up. It does use an A320 cockpit, but it, it works. All right. So N2 is coming up. N1 uh, is the... N2 is actually the inner compressor of an engine, right? And the N1 is a is the outer compressor. You know, the actual blades that you see? This is the N1. <laughs> Welcome back to physics and aviation 001. So, uh, hey Swiss, what's your thoughts on Candace? Who's, who are you guys talking about with Candace? Ah, uh, wait, no, I, I, I forgot. Yeah, Candace. Uh, I remember Can the Candace thing. Okay, let's go ahead and now turn on the second engine. I mean the first engine. As, as you can tell, the compressor of the second engine is coming up. We'll come back to this engine one. This is exactly how it works. What's up, Candace? Oh, what's up, uh, Angela? Yeah, okay, it's in PM. Okay. Good. Good. Have you heard of the um, oh. Jack and Jacob Blaze up, donated Jack four dollars and ninety nine cents? What Thank got you. you into aviation? Keep actually, up the great work. Thank you, man. It was actually Infinite Flight, dude. You know, good old Infinite Flight. We all remember it. We don't necessarily love it, but it's just there, and uh, we've got accepted. We got accepted existence. Ex I cannot talk anymore. But okay, wait. I I, I found out the the brightness of the ecom display, everybody. You guys, we are now really starting to get along. I figured out how to adjust the brightness of the display. That's just exactly how it works. And guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's Michael Gustav. Greetings from Brooklyn, New York. He's always sending out greetings from New York City. I mean, from Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of the MD-11 that's coming to MSFS? Well, there's a lot of planes coming from MS MSFS that we know of. You know, the A737 from... Uh, PMDG, I think. Uh, we've got an MD-11 coming up. We've got probably Sukhoi Super Day. Also, Concord, a professional Concord, which is something I'm probably the most excited about. If you know the channel, of course, uh, we've always had a Concord here uh, because it's such a um, it's it's a very 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 complicated plane to develop as well. G's E99 donated two dollars. Hi, Mr. Dot Wired. Now, this is one of those donations, again, that I really don't get. Well, what are you saying? All right, let's go ahead and turn on the fuel pumps. Let's just get the engines to run. Come on. Give it some power. Here we go. Perfect. Now, this is fine, actually, now. Uh, go ahead and stop the uh, APU from running. That is great. And turn on the generator of the engines, which don't work. Ah. Now they do. Engine is provided. Uh, I mean, plane is provided with power. It says available on here. What does that mean? Okay. This is good. We have now started up our plane, everybody. This is looking finally like we're, uh, we're good. Can you guys hear, by the way? Can you guys hear? Is this a, can you guys hear this, the, the plane? I'm just going to make sure. Because we've had this before where, <laughs> where I forgot to turn on the sound. Now that, that's uh, just something that can happen here. So that's great. Have you made a plane about, uh, have made a video about the Russian planes MC-21? Yeah, there are quite a few Russian planes coming out. Uh, actually, like the Irkut MC-21. Um, that's really good, I think. And there's also a Mitsubishi space jet as well. You know, one of those, just one of those planes that I've never really made a video about because there are no models for them in the flight simulator, which is quite unfortunate, right? These are all very interesting planes. Um, the aircraft, and there's also some more Chinese planes coming out. Um, but no way, that's, uh, just, they're not really existent in the flight simulator, so, not really. Alright, good.
good. Now we're on this very narrow taxi where we're barely fitting on here. Um, if you checked out the 77 uh, 200 uh, gravel kit video that I have released today, you might already know that, you know, having engines hang above ground is not particularly a good idea. Ah, whatever. Okay. Now, this is a 5,000 foot long runway. The thing is, again, this is the longest runway of today's stream. We're going to land at 2,000 feet and 3,000 feet, maybe, if we're lucky. And we're also going to have, like, the 1,000 feet of runways today. Uh, again, Courchevel. Um... So we're just not going to use the whole runway of this one, just to, you know, get this plane used to uh, flying at short runways, see? Oh. Can you, can you guys tell this? Dude, our, our left engine has died. What the hell have I done? Is this, is this normal? This is also different from the outside. It literally stopped spinning. <laughs> Engine literally has died. What the hell? Oh, both engines. No, actually just, just the left engine. It's just dying here on this runway. Okay, uh, second engine works still. The, the left engine works. The right engine has just died. Geez, E99 donated $2. I really like your live stream, but stop abusing aircraft and aircraft matters too. Well, uh, apparently I've now uh, overdone it. We have uh, lost our. Le okay, our APU is right now starting up, I guess. Um, let's see, maybe it provides enough power already for the startup of the left engine. I have never had this. Why did the engine just die? Okay, turn on the APU bleed that's already turned on. That is so weird. Oh, no. We're literally... We, we are on... Just imagine this case happened in real life. You line up on the runway, literally ready for takeoff. Everything is looking good. But then suddenly, the left engine just dies. I mean, I'm, I'm just hoping that this is not going to happen mid-flight. What was that, dude? I've never had this. This is just a great stream, a great start uh, to a great flight. I'm, I, I, I just saw, I just saw, I just saw the the, um, the engine parameters go down, and I was like, what? It was suddenly at zero then, and then we heard the sound of it shutting up. Oh. All right. According to the sound, you can hear it. According to the sound, it actually is turning off. I oh, shut the hell up, plane. Uh, how can I? This. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, the switch. Good, good start. Uh, how do we get this to run? I mean, we can already start off with a the second engine just take off like that. Ah, uh, what the hell is wrong with this? I really don't get this now. Okay, I mean, I guess it's uh for the better if we take off and uh, leave the APU on, because then with the auxiliary power unit. We can start the engine back up again if it dies again, right? This is exactly how you do it in Russia. So, let's do exactly this. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this to normal. And I think the engine should, in a second, start up normally. Right? Please just do it. Turn the anti-ice off. Really? That doesn't do it. Why would that make a difference to the engines dying? What the hell? Come on, start up. Come on. Start up, plane. Yeah, keep the APU on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I've just... just adjusted. Okay. It should have... Uh... Okay. Um. Hmm. It's not really turning on either. I think we have left this. Turn off the APU. What are you guys talking about? Is, is that actually... No. That's just made it worse. Stop suggesting thing that just makes it worse. It just makes it worse. No. The APU blade should be turned on. You guys. Turn off the sound. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, by the way, I forgot. <clears throat> yeah. Great thing about Airbus, too. We can just clear the ECAM mass and just, just get the hell out. Uh, but this is very strange. Um, this plane is not starting up at all. What do you guys think? Turn on APU. It is literally running right now. You can even see it in the screen. You guys, stop adjusting, uh, suggesting things that don't make sense. 
Wait, let me just see here. Bleed. This is the APU. It's all open. I cannot read this properly. Where's the APU? There we go. APU, there we go. It's turned on and it's running, okay? It's running uh, also pressure into the engine. This should work. This should turn on. Turn on ELT. That's through the emergency locator transmitter. That doesn't make any sense. To, uh, any difference. I mean, we've turned it off here now. Uh, we've turned it on now. But uh, that doesn't make any sense. To, uh, <laughs> Taking off with only one engine is the only way to begin now. Try to restart the engine multiple times until the engine start. That... That is not, it's not how a car, that's not, it's, it's, this paint doesn't work like a car, that's what I'm trying to say. Hit Windows M, it will auto start the, will it? Uh oh, I've done something stupid. I've done some, oh no, I haven't. Listening to you is just stupid, actually. It's possible that your emer electronics went in emergency mode. What are you all talking about? I'm just reading through the chat right now, trying to see what's going on. Anti-ice off, ignition on. Okay, anti-ice off. Ignition on, it's already on. APU bleed is already turned on. Alright, ignition start. Aha! Uh -huh. Doesn't make that much of a difference, does it? I mean, we can just use the second engine. Doesn't really matter. This is even only getting worse. Is this how the Sukhoi jet performs in real life? I guess... Shut the hell up, plane! Alright. I'm just really trying to, trying to see how this goes. Control E to auto start. I was just gonna re uh, turn off the engines actually. Turn on the landing lights. That doesn't make any difference at all. It's literally starting right now. No, it's not starting right now. There's no fuel actually coming into the engines, which is like pr maybe the. Maybe I've shut off the fuel accidentally. Oh no, this is the, this is the wrong engine. Alright, this is working. Okay. Fuel flow. Uh, what is not working is the fuel flow into the f engine one. Okay. So let's maybe return that on, restart that engine one pump. That's actually looking good. This is the electric hydro. No, that's not how it works. This is not working at all. Look at the checklist. I know how to fly an A320, and I know I don't know what's going on right. <sighs> You're using an old version of the Sukhoi Superjet. Oh, is this normal to have issues? Crank? Try it again? Alright, try it again. Turn on again. Come on. Work. Oh. I just need... Okay, so apparently this version here is a bug. But we're just gonna try to fly it anyway. I mean, I think we've had some issues before with this. GZ99 donated $2. Aircraft needs some milk. Is this normal? X feed uh, plus restart pumps and turn on the engine. Okay, let's turn on X feed here. <laughs> this is not at all working, is it? <laughs> Alright, come on. Is this normal? You guys, I, I love how you guys are just suggesting things. APU on, then turn off, then engine, then ignition, then engine because of old version. Okay, wait, it's an old version, okay? So I have, I have, I should download a new version of this plane first of all. Okay, that's good to know. APU on, okay? Then off. What? Off and on? What do you mean? not making any sense at all this plane I just don't really get it I'm we literally be <sighs> has it got something to do with the ge engine generators maybe no, not at all actually probably Turn off. this is not at all working APU on and off so we should turn on the off the APU like completely entirely? Well, it doesn't even really turn off, does it? It's still at 100%. <sighs> Call ground maintenance. How do we do that in the flights? God damn it. 
we have had this before actually, haven't we? Um, where the plane is just broken. We should probably download a new model. So what I'm going to try is actually, I mean, do the uh, manual engine start by pressing the control E. And apparently it does something now to the plane. It does start it up now. So I'm just going to help that, you know, pressing control E, which is like the cheat code to start up engines normally in the flight simulator. Uh, I guess it works here, apparently, here. The N2 is coming up. That is looking okay. I do be having issues with the N1, though. It's not coming up. So, are we just going to have to fly this plane with uh, one engine, or what is going to happen now? Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen, isn't it? <sighs> this is just what we've left off. Put the engines to... Put the engines to off and on. Why is the plane turning off now again? Check the fuel pumps. That's what some people are actually pronounced uh, saying. Okay, fuel. Okay, uh, this is the fuel pump, right? And it's not delivering anything to en engine one apparently. All right. So you know what? <sighs> I just want to stream normally. Is that? Can that not happen? Is that? Is that not? Just. Can I maybe? Like. Pressing out of four works. Yeah, it does, most probably. Alright, time to fly anyway off of the airport just with one engine. I mean, this is a good um, simulation of what this plane can do. Actually, this is apparently a glitch. You guys have already um, teased it in the, uh, in the comment in the chat. Apparently, this is actually a glitch of this add-on plane. I didn't realize it before starting the stream that the plane is actually broken. Um, so there's something wrong with the fuel pumps of the uh, first engine uh, Engine number one, I mean and um, That's apparently the problem that this plane mom Momentarily has with this update and it says here too engine shut down uh, We've got an imbalancy and TCAS mode avoid icing conditions Yeah, I think icing conditions is like our last problem here now <laughs> great. Uh, we're running at very very low Fuel here, uh, very low power actually here too. Low speeds, uh, perfect for uh, the flight that I have planned for this video. Because we're gonna come in for interesting airports. Uh, whatever, this is a Russian plane. I don't think it minds flying just on one of the two implemented engines, right? This is a Russian plane, okay? Let me just say that. I'm just gonna make sure that it has hydraulic power. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This plane is running in circle. This plane is running in circle. <laughs> I have no control of this at all. This is so bad. I guess, um, we're just gonna have to roll with this. Sukhoi Superjet, everybody, doesn't work. And I'm, we've always had issues with the Sukhoi Superjet. That's probably the reason why I hate it so much. There's, like, there's just, like, bad energy from connected with this plane. You know what I mean? It's just bad. Does this, this screen work? Oh, actually it does. Holy moly. Maybe we can auto start the engines with this pad. Could that work? Oh, please. Wait, uh, dashboard. Link MCD. Dispatch. Oh, damn, that's so, oh no, reflection. Flight, in op. Performance. No, that's just not really ground. Push back now. We don't need that anymore. A little too late. I mean, literally, our engines died when already on the runway. Okay, that was that was what, what was happening. We were we were on the runway, and it just broke. Settings. Uh, uh oh. Look ahead. Okay. Uh, actually, no, this is not good. Okay, good. Uh, now. Time to follow along into this valley 
and try to come in for this landing. This is completely broken, actually. This, this whole thing. Uh, this is just great. But it actually flies, somewhat. I mean, you gotta consider this is a plane that only has one of the two engines running, okay? Uh, the problem is, though, that we're gonna come in for some interesting airport today, so we would normally need the whole plane, whole power. Um, yeah. It's good. Your MPE is low. What the hell's MPE? What are you guys always talking about? Do it look like, do it look like any... <sighs> it's one who would know that, whatever. Uh, full flaps, so you can fly at lower speeds. Actually, half the flaps at- oh, half them at zero. Uh, so the problem is about flaps is that they slow you down, and we are right now not actually having issues with the speed at all. Huh. We're actually running. 260 knots, we're actually almost over speeding here. Everybody! As you can see, this is the thing about flying a Russian jet. We might, you know, have some complaints from the pilots about one of the engines not working, right? But, but, well, that uh, problem is easily fixed by the plane just being able to run off of one engine. 25, 280 knots to 90 knots. We're actually getting to like a pretty fast speed here, everybody. This is finally looking good. Your hydraulics are probably locking, locking up the fuel pumps. They probably clamped on the fuel pumps or your engine has a malfunction where the turbines inside are locking up. Uh, that's not the problem. Uh, turbines are actually spinning totally fine. It's just really, um, the fuel pumps, I'm guessing. Um, as a, a glitch. Don't, don't overanalyze this. The, the flight simulator model is just broken. It's not like this, that realistic that, you know, that the hydraulic pumps can actually, um, I think it's the fuel lines that are actually broken. Yeah, it's not that realistic, right? So, this is great. Your MPE is your problem. What the hell is an MPE? Good. So far, we have actually run quite well. This is actually flying quite nicely, smoothly through the Alpine Mountains. And we're actually, and this is actually quite a bit of a fun flight now. We finally have got some action. Now, uh, I just want to, I just really want to see what is the damn airport that we're actually put. <laughs> where, where is it? Oh, it's supposed to be actually right to the in front of us, actually. Um, we have to turn for a bit of a circle. Problem is, this plane is really not that good at turning circles with one of the two engines. And the airport is actually down here. Um, this is a short runway, as you can apparently tell. It's literally right there. 3,000 foot long runway. How well is this looking for this flight? Try opening the cross bleed. Ah, oh, that doesn't make any... It's just the plane is broken. It's not about me. I've, of course. <laughs> ah, great. Yeah, this plane doesn't even have a cross bleed switch. It's not like a Concorde or anything. All right, meanwhile... Oh, damn. This is actually a, some very nice looking mountains here, though. We do, have, we do have to see that. This is actually a very beautiful valley. You know, sometimes we've got to appreciate that as well. We've got a completely broken plane, but at least the landscape isn't broken. Okay, go ahead and try to, uh, the thing is, the last time the engines died, the engines, I, like, the left engine died, okay, the time the engine died, I put the, both engines to minimal power, to actually zero power, idle, right? Uh, because I was rolling onto the, um, onto the runway, okay, I was landing up, and so maybe... That is a bad idea in this plane. Going engine idle is a bad idea, and it kills the engines, apparently. Ah, this is just bad. All right, anyway, we've got a runway ahead, and that runway has to be... Wait, has to be landed on? Is that grammatically? It doesn't really matter. I tried to, to, to form a sentence that just is way too complicated for... The stream here. I mean, we're flying a Sukhoi Super Jet with an AG20 cockpit that doesn't even work because of the left engine will just die when we line up onto a runway. So yeah, Citrap for everyone that's just come into the stream here. We are right now flying a Sukhoi Super Jet that has one engine only. The right engine is working. The left engine died when we tried to line up onto the runway of our um, departure airport. So this is bad. Let's just see. Maybe we can do proper landing. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to use most reverse trusts. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Maybe this is a good idea. Uh, the takeoff, although, I'm, I'm a little scared of, right? I think landing won't even, like, the, you know, the stopping part of the landing won't, won't be that much of an issue, but the taking off after that landing, even though it was, may, 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 might be successful, right? That'll be a bit of a, oh my god. Okay, oh damn. Yeah, they missed that runway, dude. Alright, let's go and try to stop. In real, life, in real life, I would have gone around in the stream. I really don't care if we die or not. I mean, this is a Sukhoi Super Jet. Not much to choose. But we have stopped quite nicely. I'm sorry about this landing. You know, you know, since we really only have one engine running, flying this plane is quite weird because you're obviously very much imbalanced here on the flight. But that's actually quite worked. Yeah. You can always go around, but, you know, it's a Sukhoi Super Jet. It's not worth it. <laughs> Great. All right, it's time to push back here. I mean, the, the, the one engine that we do have is working quite well. I'm just hoping that it doesn't die because it has, <laughs> thing is it has to run at full power all the time now here in this flight because of course the other engine is not working so it has to kind of, you know, make up for it. And that's a bit of a problem because that is kind of damaging sometimes to some engines. But it's just a Sukhoi super jet. You know, this, this doesn't matter. Good. We have survived the landing. Now it's about the takeoff and finding out if it works. Um, maybe it will or something. There's a bit of a chance. There's a bit of hope. That's what matters. We've got hope. Swiss, your propeller de detached. It wasn't glued. This is another one of those jokes that I really don't understand. The thing is, um, we're now taking off from this runway here, right? And our next airport here on our navigation list, 18 nautical miles away, is LFLJ. If you remember this airport, it's literally Courcheville. <laughs> That'll be a failure. But we're just gonna see if it's gonna work. I mean, just the takeoff itself has got to work first. So let's go ahead and put the flap hose up. And try to take off. That's what I just really was thinking of what I was gonna say. So, let's go ahead now and stop in three, two, one. We are gonna initiate a wheelie now. Oh, that was a very weak wheelie. Yeah, somewhat of a weak wheelie, actually, honestly. That was not particularly that much of a satisfying wheelie for sure. But let's just go ahead and now uh, take off, honestly. I just, <laughs> what have we got to lose? Uh, it's not at all gonna work. I mean, we are dragging the plane so much because of the rudder that we have to put in because of course this plane's gonna now turn to the left because it's only got the right engine that's working you know oh damn we've even got to use some brakes oh it doesn't yeah, that doesn't feel good at all we're rolling off we're rolling off completely all right I'm fully stepping into the rudder right now yeah this is not good Take off, please. I just want to get off the ground. Okay. A little bit of a forest operation. Maybe he's eventually we'll take off there's still some hope I've got still got hope in my heart now that's where the cheats come in um, what direction should Courchevel be I think in the this one ah uh, this direction right Ah, actually, yeah, that was uh, that was about right. Good. Um, oh damn. <laughs> plane just died. Uh, great. I'm um, so Citrep. Uh, we just uh, tried to take off this plane with only one engine running. Didn't really work as well as as I'd hoped. Uh, but this is great. We are now off the air thanks to cheats. Uh, 
Let's uh, try to come in for a cool Cheville. The landing again shouldn't be that much of an issue, I guess. The takeoff, I'm not quite sure about it either. The thing is that uh, for the takeoff, um, you need to kind of jump off a cliff then, which is now not that much of a problem. So let's do this. Good. Now, let's come in now and uh, I've really got barely control of the plane actually. It's quite funny. Like I've, I can barely turn to the left or right. Not really working, is it? But it's just a lot of fun, right? Oh damn! Oh damn! That's not crashing that mountain. We're about to crash into this mountain. Come on, full power! Oh damn! This mountain. This mountain is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> okay, come on. The thing is, with this kind of engine uh, configuration, let me just put it this way: we won't be able to go around at Courchevel. Okay? No going around will be um, <laughs> even possible. Okay? So, uh, we're just gonna have to really fly carefully. Oh, Jesus Christ, we just clipped a tree. Two trees. Maybe even three trees in a tree, yeah. Good. So does time. Courchevel. <laughs> I guess we can try that. Um, actually, this airport is, uh, that airport is way higher than our current elevation, so we've got to actually climb now, uh, which is a bit of a problem, since we, as you might have already noticed, we've only got one engine. Running. Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna try my best, honestly. This is cool, Chevelle. Uh, <sighs> maybe we are gaining a little bit of altitude. I think we've gotta, like, wait. Uh, we've gotta, like, gain, like, at least a thousand. A thousand two hundred feet, actually. A thousand three hundred. A thousand six hundred. A thousand. A thousand six hundred. Yeah, yeah. We're crashing into a mountain, aren't we? Speed and power is the answer. It's not going to work, is it? This is not good. I'm sorry. I mean, this is just a completely bugged model here. I mean, it, 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 maybe we should already uh, kind of be skeptical about the A320 cockpit. But it's also, it isn't really, oh, I, I, I just saw my joystick wasn't really connected the whole time, which is probably why I really didn't have any control of the plane. Pretty much my only way to control this plane right now is through rudder pedals. That's like a way to get proper control, but it's not, that's not really the best option. We've only got one engine. So the plane's already unsteep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just don't crash into a mountain. Why are we losing more and more speed? It doesn't even, even doesn't make any sense at all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Good. Actually, not good. Honestly, this is this is not good. But you know, we were just we just gotta roll with it. Come in for a landing here, coach. Courchevel, holy moly. I mean, before, we could actually fly this plane quite nicely, but now, ever since we took off, we lost, like, 700 feet of altitude. We're just only getting lower and lower. We're not climbing. Just using more and more space. Uh, feet of... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, just some trees that we just clipped. No, no, uh... Mountain, at least. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. That imbalance is really showing. Don't crash. Don't crash, please. Holy moly, this is... <laughs> dangerous. I forgot to add that list that shows the... the people that donated. Oh, this, this direction. This is not at all working. Citrap, what has just happened to anyone that's, you know, just newly joined the stream?
you know, there's always some information to tell about the stream itself. So we took off with a Sukhoi Super Jet. Everything was looking good, actually, you know, when we were taking off. Well, we, when we were, were lining up, okay? I was lining up onto the runway of the departure airport after a nice start up of the plane. Okay? But then, on the lineup, the engine, the left engine died, and I couldn't turn it on again because of a bug in the flight simulator model. Which is already, I mean, the flight simulator model itself could seem like a bug because it literally has an A320 cockpit. It's not a Sukhoi Superjet cockpit. But it, uh, whatever. Uh, we just took off there, and uh, actually, the flight to our first airport on our list, on our destination list, did go quite well. The landing went pretty much fine. We stopped. The approach went fine. We were able to gain a lot of speed. Right? And, um,. Well, what happened then was uh, the plane died completely. We just crashed into a mountain. We were not able to, you know, provide enough power. I think there were some winds there in the valley too. Not really making life easier for a little plane that didn't even have two working engines. Okay, so that's uh, not gone particularly well. I'm going to try to do one last landing here at uh, Courchevel because I did kind of promise that at the beginning of this stream. We have some information here while wow, this is loading. The SSJ, which is the Sukhoi Superjet 100, competes. Aeroflot is the largest operator of the SSJ 100. I was not even able to read it properly. <clears throat> the ah, there we go. It's back. The SSJ 100 competes with the Embraer E190 and Bombardier. Newer version of the SS... What? The SSJ are equipped with a wingtip device called the Saberlet. That was, that was very close to not being able to read the full sentence here. Sukhoi Superjet 100 or SSJ 100 first took... Let me read the damn text. Aeroflot is the largest operator of the SSJ 100. Okay, so CRJ 1000 is really the biggest competitor of the plane? Really? I would guess it's probably like the A220 from Airbus. Or the Bombardier C series. <sighs> Just start up. When's this gonna work? Is this even gonna work at all? <sighs> if we actually, uh, I think our lowest viewer point we had was like was like two hundred and twenty. Maybe we're gonna hit that record now today. Maybe we're gonna go b go below like a two hundred viewers. How about that? That'd be quite a bit of a. Everyone log off now. So. <laughs> ah, welcome back, so this is everyone. I remember when we had 2,000 views. Hmm. Aeroflot's the largest operator for this day. This is not at all gonna work. Come on, just get the hell loaded up. Why is this taking so long? And why is this mountain wide, snowy, and <laughs> the other mountains aren't? Well, what the hell's wrong? Okay, let's go ahead and now. <clears throat> oh, wait. For the first time ever in this live stream, we've got two and Okay, the engines did work before we lined up onto the runway, right? Uh, but now both engines are working. So we've got the whole performance of the super jet. And as the name suggests, it's supposed to be super. Um, so let's just see if that superness is... Uh, there. What am I saying? Let's just come in for a landing. Um, yeah, both engines are working. Uh, everything's actually working quite well. So, oh damn, it's not crashing to a mountain. That's actually just we're quite far away from the airport, aren't we? Where's the airport? Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Should be like, is it right there? Is it right? It's right there. I remember. Good. So let's come in for a bit of a landing here. I mean. Is this going to work? Probably yes, honestly. I think this will be a perfect landing. And for the first time ever, let's do a proper shutdown on of the plane, right? With the, you know, with everything coming down, with, uh, with you know, pushback trucks and everything, and facilities and um, fuel trucks. And Can you see these bugs here on the mountain? Could you see that? Am I the only one that could see the black spots, kind of? Oh, there's some more. I like how, like, one side of the Alpine Mountains is literally white, snowy, and the one the other one isn't. I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is trying to sync it to how it looks like in real life, but I'm pretty sure at, in mid-June, there is not much snow here in the Alpines, in the, yeah, the Alpine Mountains, I'm trying to say. 
good. So let's do this. All right, pass. Uh, I mean, previous, previous uh, comrades. That's what I'm trying to say. Previous comrades. Welcome back to Swiss Zero One, Communist Airlines. We are now coming in for a landing. A cool Chevelle in our beautiful Sukhoi Super Jet. We've only really kind of made fighter jets before, but that only makes your plane more tougher. Which it really isn't because last time we tried to fly it, it kind of had one engine that died on the lineup. But we took off anyway, and the plane crashed like half an hour later. But that's another story. Let's come in for a landing. Actually, I cannot even see anything because it's so white. So it's, uh, the runway is supposed to be right there. Oh my god, there's a, there's a mosquito in here. How did it get in here? I don't even, I, I had no window open the whole time. Well, this is one of those things that I really don't get. We'll come back to Alright. <clears throat> Good. Um, that's got the spoilers out. I'm trying actually not to approach this airport too slowly because I do really not want to, you know, stall out in front of the runway. So I think 140 knots will do perfectly fine. Um, that could be considered too fast, but it really isn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is actually going to perfectly work. Alright, I'm kind of confident now in this landing. And whenever I say that, I'm always making the worst of the worst landings, so... Yeah, this is... This is um, I'm sorry, let's come in for a landing. I can't even see anything. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of the damn snow, actually. Much better. <laughs> actually, wait. Before we land, I do want to try something. And that's the replay mod. Cause duh, we do have to re use the replay mod for to use replay in the flight simulator. How about this? All right, good. This is perfect. Very calmly, 130 knots. Not slower. Not slower. Not at all. Because we do want to have quite a bit of power power here. Whoa. All I can say is that the plane was not really the delivering power when I was needing it, okay? I did say that I was going to go a little bit faster to have more control of the plane because I knew I needed to pull up all the way. But it didn't really work. I did land a little bit... a little bit hard. Again, because I said I have a lot of confidence in the landing working out. And again, whenever I say that, it, the landing... Le the, yeah. Okay. Better, 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 much better. Why does this plane bounce so much? I'm not a, no, that, I mean, I think we would have stopped, but this was not a smooth landing either. I'm trying to butter now, okay? I do have goals in, in life. You know, sometimes you do, really do have to get, have, go, have goals. I'm just trying to, mm. see, this is, it's not really uh, easy to land this plane here because the slope of the runway uh, really kind of, you have to pull up all the way, pretty much, and sometimes in a, you know, not very agile plane like this, uh, it's not particularly easy to do that. So let's just try our best. Yeah, better. Yeah, better. Okay, stop, stop. I may have been a little... You can always go round. Oh my goodness, please don't die. You can always go round. Calm down. But don't wait until you're sideways. We have no control of the throttle because the auto throttle keeps turning on. How about that? Oh shoot. No, no, no. Oh damn. I was, I did tell you that this was going to be a successful landing here, Cool Chevelle. We haven't even done once, okay? Um, <clears throat> oh, what is, ha! <laughs> 200 knots now, great, thank you.
Oh, don't die. Okay, come on. Okay, that's been about... What, why is this plane bouncing so much? I really don't get it. Okay, this is going to be a successful stop, though. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. Mm, hard landing. All right. Let's watch this in the replay. I mean, actually, no, let's not do that. It's a bad, bad idea. What I'm going to do first is try to really get this facility thing going on. I want... Okay, let's turn off the engines here. It doesn't really matter if we stay on the runway or not. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the... Turn off the engines here. Very simply. Engine off. And get the ground staff to come over. Does that work? Is that a thing? Is this working? No, it's not a thing. It's not working, is it? Okay, great. Um, yeah, let's watch this landing here in the replay at least. Great, this has a, been a perfectly working stream, hasn't it? Okay. Yeah, a bit of a hard landing actually, but this is a Sukhoi super jet. It really doesn't mind. You know, it's a crap plane anyway. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video stream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night.